As a Muslim, I would be happy to discuss the concept of the Quran's geology miracle with you. The Quran, as the holy book of Islam, is believed by Muslims to be the literal word of God revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through the angel Gabriel. It addresses various aspects of human life, including matters of science and nature. One of the remarkable aspects of the Quran is its accurate descriptions of natural phenomena, including references to geology. Many Muslims interpret these descriptions as miracles, as they believe that the Quran contains scientific knowledge that was not known to humanity at the time of its revelation in the 7th century. One such example often cited is the Quran's mention of mountains. The Quran refers to mountains as stabilizers and pegs that prevent the earth from shaking or trembling excessively. In Surah and Naba, 78, 6-7, it states, Have we not made the earth as a bed, and the mountains as pegs? This verse suggests that mountains have deep roots or foundations, which is consistent with our modern understanding of tectonic plates and their role in stabilizing the earth's crust. Another verse in the Quran, Surah al-Rad, 13-3, speaks about the gradual formation of mountains. And it is he who spread the earth and placed therein firmly set mountains and rivers. And from all of the fruits he made therein two mates. He causes the night to cover the day. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. This verse implies that mountains were gradually formed and fixed in place, which aligns with the geological concept of plate tectonics and the gradual processes involved in mountain formation. Additionally, the Quran mentions the presence of various minerals and metals in the earth. In Surah al-Hadid, 57-25, it states, We sent aforetime our messengers with clear signs and set down with them the book in the balance, that people may stand forth in justice. This verse is often interpreted to include the notion of balance and measure, which relates to the precise arrangement and distribution of minerals and resources in the earth's crust. Muslim scholars argue that these accurate descriptions and references to geological phenomena considering the historical context of the Quran's revelation, are indicative of divine knowledge. They perceive these scientific insights as evidence of the Quran's miraculous nature and its compatibility with modern scientific discoveries. However, it's essential to note that interpretations of these verses may vary among scholars, and not all Muslims consider them as direct scientific miracles. Some scholars emphasize the metaphorical and spiritual meanings of the Quranic verses, while others delve into scientific correlations. It is also important to approach these discussions with an open mind and engage in further scientific inquiry to fully explore the connections between the Quran and scientific knowledge. In conclusion, as a Muslim, I believe that the Quran contains references to geology that are seen by many Muslims as indicative of its divine origin. However, it's important to approach these interpretations with an open and balanced perspective. Acknowledging that scientific understanding continues to evolve, and interpretations of religious texts may vary among individuals.